Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will see how to write a MATLAB code for solving 2D heat equation. So let's start. The objective of this tutorial is to give you a simple MATLAB code for 2D heat conduction problem. So here is the question. Suppose that there is a plate that's dimension is 20 into 20 meter square plate and it has a thermal diffusivity like the material from which the plate is made has a thermal diffusivity say 1 by 3 now initially the temperature of the plate was held at 200 degrees Celsius and after time t is equal to 0 onwards the plate is heated in such a way that the temperature in the lower and upper half you can see the the temperature at the lower and upper half is 50 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the right and the left hand side is 100 degrees Celsius now what we have to do we have to find out the temperature profiles at various times so for solving this problem we need to solve a 2d heat equation that you know is given by this where c is a thermal diffusivity this is small c this is thermal diffusivity and this varies for the different material so in the question we have given thermal diffusivity is 1 by now we need to solve this and we have been also given the initial condition this is showing that we need to find the temperature and at t is equal to 0 it is 200 that is the entire plate is heated at 200 degrees celsius at time t is equal to 0 means that when we are going to begin the experiment what we have done we have heated the plate at 200 degrees celsius and after that what we have done we have given the boundary conditions like the temperature of the plate at y is equal to 0 is given to be 50 x is equal to 0 is given to be 100 y is equal to 20 is 50 degrees celsius and x is equal to 20 is 100 this is nothing but the boundary conditions we talked about we have just written it mathematically that at x is equal to 0 it is 100 at x is equal to 200 it is 100 and if you can see this if we talk about this y is equal to 0 it is 50 degree celsius and y is equal to 20 this should be x is equal to 20 and for y is equal to 20 it is 50 degree celsius right so we have written this mathematically over here now we need to obtain the temperature profile at any time so for doing this we need to solve this equation number one so we will utilize the finite difference method to solve this partial differential equation pd stand for partial differential equation so we will solve our problem using forwards time centered space finite difference scheme there are other finite difference scheme like backward time center in space and so on but in this tutorial we will only focus in this scheme that is FTCS so in this scheme what we have to do we have to replace the time derivative with the first order forward difference and the space derivative with second order central difference approximation so this is exactly what we have done over here this is the first order forward difference and here we have used the second order central difference here I represents the node location around the x axis or you can say x direction and j represents the node location along the y direction and n represents the time step this means that this is a forward time that is a time ahead and this represents the current time if we see this equation and if we set delta x is equal to delta y that means that we do an equal discretization between x and y direction that means that delta x is equal to delta y then this formula will be converted into this formula and you can see that I can write my equation you can say a like this this is the finite difference approximation for the original equation we were trying to solve now if you see this equation number two you will see that this is an explicit method and where the temperature in the future time that is n plus 1 can be directly obtained by the temperature at the present time and as you know the explicit methods are conditionally stable and what about the stability condition if this quantity that is c thermal diffusivity into delta t into delta x square is less than 0 0.25 
the stability condition is met and we can say that our numerical scheme is stable so we should take care about this condition and the step size uh, delta t should be taken very small based on the accuracy so let's write the matlab code for this so first of all i have cleared every variable and then i have taken format long to have an answer in the higher decimal places then i have set my iteration number to 16000 and this is my thermal diffusivity here i have uh, set a loop from 2 to 20 and j from 2 to 20 these are uh, saying the initial condition this is nothing but the initial condition that means that all the points initially is set to 200 degrees celsius so we have end this for loop over here now we have set our delta t and delta x as this so you can easily check that c dt by dx square is less than 0.25 so the stability criteria is met and the numerical scheme will be stable for this choice of dx and dt now what i am doing i am taking my t from 1 to the number of iteration that is 16000 that means that it will give me the value of uh, or you can say the temperature profile at you can say 160 seconds so here uh, we will consider in seconds because the thermal diffusivity is in given in meter square per second so we will take this time from 1 to m that is a iteration size and then we will again open a loop for i and j so this is giving the values of the other point because at the boundary point we already have the temperature so it is starting from 2 to 19 at 1 and at and at 20 we are already given a boundary condition so we are not giving it over here so here you can see that what i have done i have exactly written the scheme over here what you have derived theoretically i have just written this is for forward time is equal to the temperature here u is the temperature you can change it to the capital t but i have taken it u over here this is nothing but this is saying the temperature at the current time in position ij plus this term into c and this is the scheme what we have already derived and then we have entered this for loop and then i have set this n to 20 because as our domain is of size 20 cross 20 this is doing what this is just setting the boundary conditions so this one is for the upper this one is lower this one is for left and this one is for right so you can see that these conditions were already given to us that for the time greater than zero the boundary have been set to these temperatures so these are nothing but the boundary conditions now what we are doing we are plotting the figure just we are taking the contour plot of u and this is the domain size and just we will copy paste this code in the MATLAB and then we will see how the temperature profile looks after 160 seconds so we will just copy paste the code so now I have copy pasted the code in the MATLAB and you can see that it is same as I have shown you in my PPTs and if I run this code you will see what you are getting now you can see that here the time elapsed is also showing in the command window because of the tick and talk command over here which I have not shown you in the PPT code so if you want to see how much time your code is taking to run you can write this tick on the beginning of the code and talk at the end of the code so that you can keep track of how much time is elapsed in the iterations so if you see the figure you can see here if I put this legend over here and you can see that now you can see the temperature profile at 160 seconds here in the boundary as you can see this is at temperature 100 and also in the right boundary the temperature this level is saying that the temperature is 100 and x and y means the x and y value you can see this as a plate and these are the temperatures you can see that this yellow portion is means the higher temperature 
the blue portion means the lower temperature and here you can see that how this temperature is 100 and whenever you will press you can see that what is the temperature over here it is 88.35 at the center you if you press it is 76.9 over here the temperature is 50 and here it is 54.72 so you can see the temperature profiles in the space space means if you consider this as a plate and you can see that what will be the temperature after 160 seconds now if you want to change the boundary condition see these are the boundary condition this was the upper this is lower this is left this is right now if i set every boundary with 100 degree celsius and we want to see what is the temperature profile after 160 seconds so we have set all these as 100 and you can see that now i will get a temperature profile like this i will have the legend by pressing this and then you can easily see that these are cooler because these are all 100 degree celsius and in the middle the temperature is about 101 so this one yellow portion is showing that this portion will hotter than the boundary right so this way you can use this code for any initial conditions or boundary conditions just you have to change this boundary conditions and the initial conditions over here according to your experiment or your need so i will end this tutorial over here thank you